body and whispering into him because Harry's in the other room trying to get some sleep. Um, the last video I did, what that was for Spocky Man 10, that's not what he wanted to learn how to do. He wanted to do what's called picture in picture, uh, which is an image or a video that's small uh, overlapping another video. He wanted to learn how to do that Windows Movie Maker. He also told me that he is using Vista. Uh, so that makes it a little bit more complicated from, from what I've heard. I shared this video with him, but I don't know. I think it's a little too fast paced for him. Uh, so he wanted me to do this video for him. And so let's move on. Uh, this is what he wanted to do. He wanted to do an image or a video. Uh, that's small um, and then have a video running that's big uh, which is called picture in picture I remember back in the late 90s when that was a huge deal to have a channel going on in on your VCR and then a channel going on on your regular TV uh, and then you can push the button to swap between the two you can watch two TV shows at once I remember that was the coolest thing ever uh, back in the late 90s but th and that's what this reminds me of but anyway the first thing for people with Vista if you have XP skip this part okay uh, people that have Vista they have a new Windows Movie Maker this is basically downgrading Windows Movie Maker in a way it's the same uh, as what you had be what you had before you're doing this but for some reason it's different, the computer sees it as different. Uh, so you need to type in to Google Windows Movie Maker 2.6. Uh, Vista comes with the sixth version of Windows Movie Maker. This is 2.6. So you go to Windows Movie Maker, you type in that in that into Google, then you go to the first link that pops up which is Microsoft, and then you go to download. and then go to save file and save it wherever you can remember that it's it's there um, I save it in my documents but wherever you usually put programs and then just properly install it like you would install pretty much anything and the reason why I'm doing this is apparently um, when you put on add-ons to Windows Movie Maker, the latest version will not accept the add-on. Uh, if you download 2.6, then it will. So I'm just going to this step. put the link for this Windows Movie Maker version. Okay, finish. Let's do the next thing. So I'm going to go over to as well. Uh, this is an EXE executable program uh, that a company made uh, for handsfx.org. Uh, it's a free program and I'm going to download and install this and ap apparently it's supposed to the PIP which is picture in picture program files Windows Movie Maker Movie Maker 2.6 share and then make a new folder add on and 
where you want it to go. And if you want to stretch out the picture, take your longest the video because if you don't, then it will not be throughout the entire video. Oh, see, there it is. And I want it to be in the bottom corner. And I put it between here. And then see, it works. I can do it. I just wanted to say real quick that you overlap the picture um, with the video that the, because what I did was, see, you put the picture for the video that you want to be small in front of it, and then the text is on right below it, and the transition and the effects browser. Wait, hold on. This is how it works. You drag and drop. And then you drag this so it gets at the beginning. And that drags the video over the picture. So this is what it looks like. I'm not going to torture you with the whole thing, but it does go through the whole video. The picture and the video are one. Then you just go up here like you usually do to file, and then save or be file as. 